God bless you. This is Nia J. Teta. I want to answer a question that a young man asked me based on my video on day three where I used the car analogy and talked about how we make sure that those who drive cars are thoroughly tested before they're allowed to have a license. So he asked the question, what kind of test might God bring you through to see if you're ready to marry? I'm not sure that the Bible ever teaches that God's going to bring everybody through a specific test so that to know whether they're ready to be married. However, um, the Bible does teach there are some certain things that probably you should have in place before you get married. Um, one thing is the Bible says, um, that a man will leave daddy and mama um, in order to get married, which means that this man is able to be responsible for himself. And in that, it teaches that um, parents who are supposed to be godly parents would have him ready to be responsible for himself, his sin, his relationship with God. And then the key question is, is he able to be responsible for somebody else? Because a man who is supposed to head his family it needs to be able to be responsible for his wife, he needs to be able to be responsible for his children. Headship really talks about responsibility. The one who gets blamed, the one who gets in trouble if things don't go right or according to God's plan. He is responsible before God for his entire family. So a young man would need to be ready in that respect to take on that type of responsibility. But better said, let me say it like this. The Bible teaches that parents are supposed to help they're supposed to help to take wives for their sons and to give their daughters away in marriage what that suggests is that god has ordained a head over anybody who's considering marriage so that they can be helped through wise counsel about whether they're ready to be married so godly parents who love you who want the best for you in christ jesus who pray for you who study their word who believe god who have a relationship and a fellowship with god those are awesome people to help you determine whether you're ready to be married or not in fact they are some people that should be the most honest with you to say son hey look you may not be ready yet what you need to do is get this this and this down done rightly they're supposed to watch you grow over time and then in some says release you to the Lord to be responsible before God uh, for your life, for your sin, for the lives of other people you get in relationship with. And so parents are actually supposed to help you in that process so that you know whether you're ready to be married, whether you're ready to be able to be responsible for somebody else's life. Now, a lot of us don't have necessarily those godly, God-loving, God-fearing parents who study their word, who pray for us, and different things like that. In that respect, the church, the church family is supposed to interact with you in some sense in that respect. Um, a pastor is a great person to go to, or even somebody else in the church who has watched you grow, watched you grow up, um, can say definitively where you are and different things of that nature. Maybe even a mentor in the church, someone who's mentoring you, a man who's mentoring you if you're a male, and a female who's mentoring you if you're a female, so that they can speak to your fitness and your readiness and then direct you and guide you in certain ways. The Bible is so clear that the best plans are developed in, in, in midst of wise counsel, but the key piece is to trust in the Lord. That's why I said you might want to go to your church family. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Um, acknowledge Him in all your ways. And of course, leaning not to thy own understanding. Um, but knowing that he will direct your path. I Forgive me, I know that verse is a little bit out of order, but you can look at Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. God bless you. I really hope that this has been of help and encouragement.